Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading. Gemini, I feel like you expressed to somebody what you want, what your wish fulfillment was. And this person has made a decision to cut out the competition so that they can provide that to you. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Gemini, let's get into your energy. Then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. And then we'll get into your reading. So Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Gemini. What is Gemini's energy, please? Okay, so I feel like, uh, Gemini, you may have a betrayal with either a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to. It, it could be male, female. It doesn't doesn't matter that it's the queen of cups but you feel betrayed by a cancer pisces or a scorpio so holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity and guidance for gemini what is the energy of all 12 signs around gemini starting with aries please you're dealing with an aries i feel like there was a fight over a third party if you're dealing with a taurus i feel like um, somebody was juggling an option if you're dealing with another Gemini, someone wants to work with a soulmate. If you're dealing with a Cancer, someone's looking at the past mistakes, trying to understand something with a different perspective. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody is speaking their truth to have wish fulfillment. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone's being divinely guided to a victory. If you're dealing with a Libra, Someone's been trapped up in their head for a long time. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like somebody's waiting for their true person, their two of cups. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody's having new love with a uh, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like someone's being... Ooh, I feel like there's a battle, of, uh, there's a, something brewing here with a Capricorn because you have the Emperor and you have the, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a lot of thoughts, okay? This is someone who's strategic, doesn't show emotion, has a plan to win, knows how his opponent, uh, you know, knows his opponent's weakness and is going to win against the opponent. And the Emperor, the Emperor stands in his power. He is the ruler above all. You know, so this person, Iron Fist, okay, uh, this is someone who's being very strategic about winning and having what they want. If you're dealing with an, an Aquarius, I feel like somebody's being patient or trying to find some balance out in the cold. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's watching the Ten of Pentacles. So watching something that was long term and committed. Or they could be watching their money too, but I feel like I feel like it has to do with a person, not not things. But you feel betrayed by a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, Gemini, male or female doesn't matter. It's just the energy of the card. So, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know, please? So I feel like someone's rushing towards you to speak a truth. Could be a harsh truth about wish fulfillment being a king of wands. Uh, but there's strife, jealousy, and competition here. And I feel like Options, illusion, confusion, or daydreaming. Somebody's making a head of a heart decision to cut out. I feel like trying to cut out the competition. But I feel like there's an option. Somebody's getting uh, making a head of a heart decision to cut out an option. So I feel like there's an argument with somebody about what you really want, Gemini. And this King of Wands, you know, he is like, he's like the... He's the Knight of Wands, but in a higher, you know, he's graduated to the King. So he still has player tendencies, 
So, you know, he's charismatic, good looking. All the women's heads turn when he walks into the room. But there's a lot of competition around him. But I feel like somebody's making a head of a heart decision to cut out the competition is what I feel like. Because you have communicated to them what you want. So there's a victory here and healing. Someone speaking a truth about their deceptions. What was hidden that now ended. So this could be an illusion, a deceptive illusion here. The truth about a deceptive illusion that's ended. So under the bottom of the deck, they say that because there's the there's a magician. Okay, so somebody could have been doing magic here. Let's get some clarity. Okay, emperor. Emperor is being patient here. Out in the cold. So, <laughs> Gemini, if this is if this is you, then you're being patient out in the cold. If this is a person you're dealing with. You're dealing with your, your, your emperor, your true person. They're being patient out in the cold. Someone's very up in their head, sleepless nights, looking at the past mistakes, wanting to rush in, wanting to rush in. Let's get some more clarity here for Gemini. Holy Spirit, angel, spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Gemini. What's the harsh truth being spoken? What is the harsh truth being spoken? I feel like there's, Almost an argument with these two. Sort of truth is between these two that they're arguing about something. Someone speaking a truth about moving forward. Wish fulfillment is their two of cups. Okay. So someone's telling you, I feel like, I, I don't even, I feel like it's an ultimatum. Like maybe you were giving somebody an ultimatum. Look, I'm going to go. I'm moving on because what I want is my person. I want love. I don't want games. I don't want to deal with nonsense. I feel like you're talking to a king of wands. And this person's waiting. Because of strife, jealousy, and competition, they know they broke your heart with all of that. They know. They know they broke your heart with the competition. And I feel like they're making a decision to cut out the options. They're apologizing. And they're, they're communicating an apology. And I feel like they're cutting out an option and they're going to communicate an apology. Okay. So there's a victory to heal something. And again, with the star card, um, King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, very solid, stable, dependable. I feel like this person's wanting to heal and have stability here. Okay. And I feel like with this speaking of a truth, they're going to tell you the truth that they've cut something out. They've made a decision to cut something out and they're going to tell you the truth. And I feel like someone felt stuck and bound in a deception. And I feel like with this moon card here, somebody felt stuck and bound because there was an illusion. Somebody was doing magic. And so someone felt stuck and bound in a situation. Because the moon is. <laughs> You can't tell me magic wasn't done. When the moon is clarified by the moon, there was an illusion. There was magic being done here. Okay. And that's now ended. And somebody wants to. I feel like apologize. They're holding on to you wanting to apologize after this ends. They want, they want, uh, they want free from something. And I don't feel it's you. I feel like it's something they've been trapped in. They feel trapped in a situation. The emperor felt trapped. But see, he's like he's on the outside looking in. He wants back into wherever you're at. He's being patient. He wants to be back and reconcile. You can't make that up, okay? It, he wants to, <laughs> you can't make this up. He wants to reconcile something long-term and committed. He wants to have what you want, okay? This is what you're telling him you want. Your wish fulfillment is your, your true person, okay? They want to reconcile and have something long-term and committed in a new beginning of love and abundance, okay? Someone keeps looking back. They're very anxious about looking back, wanting to rush towards you. They're watching. They're watching. They know you're their soulmate. They want to rush in and have justice. Okay, now look at this. Okay, strife, jealousy, and competition was strong. There was a lot of there was a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition. 
and there was magic being done. I feel like the magic out in the cold. Somebody's out in the cold, and it's ended, so something new can begin. There's no, there's no if ands or buts about it. Whatever, whatever. Maybe you stopped it. Uh, somebody stopped it. Somebody stopped the nonsense, the manipulation, the magic. Somebody stopped it. No if ands or buts about it. It was probably you, Gemini. In all fairness, uh, as I feel like this person was trapped, and maybe you released them from whatever they were trapped in. Family situation. Somebody's watching the victim at a crossroads. So, you know, this person's got whoever. Is <laughs> Someone's playing the victim here that they were settling for. They were settling for somebody that, okay. So family observer. Somebody's watching the family, I feel like. Someone's observing the family situation. Um, family situation would be you and your person, okay? Um, they're playing the victim. They're at a crossroads settling. I feel like you, I, I don't feel like this maybe was your person. That they're watching you and they're, they're, they feel like they're a victim and they feel like they're at a crossroads because they settled. Okay, under the bottom of the deck, you have communication with a commitment in the fifth dimension. So this is you communicating with your, your uh, highest self um, with your twin. So you're, you're, you're coming together and communicating in the 5D with your person um, or your highest selves are. So you're getting these downloads. You know what's happening here. So let's get some more clarity. Um, I feel like someone playing the victim was at crossroads because they settled. Yeah, they know they settled. They know that you were their person. And they know they had to cut all that nonsense out. But I feel like they felt stuck and bound in a situation. Um, have the confidence to forgive and have these blessings come towards you with the truth. I feel like, oh, yes, family is transformed to a home. I Wow. Okay. Look, Gemini, family transformed to a home. Okay. So this is, this is going to be all transformed. You've got that butterfly of blessings between the two of you. Okay. Forgiveness. They're saying, have the confidence, have the confidence to forgive blessings and truth with the family transformed the home. The family transformed the home. You're going to be okay in this situation. I feel like you got to realize that this person was stuck and bound in an illusion. And I feel like they're just as much a victim here as you are. Because settling, what were they settling for? They were settling for the karmic. So victim being at the crossroads about this settling. This, yeah, I feel like that was your person very trapped up in their head watching you. And they felt very trapped wanting to be with you, but they knew they were settling. So, Jim and I, that's all I have for you. If this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.